Hey guys, welcome to the Service Now World, and today we'll see part 17 of scenario based interview questions in Service Now. As you know, in this series, we are discussing about all the real time scenario as well as scripting questions which are given by interviewer during interview. So, without any delay, let's see today's question. So, today's task or question is that write a script to print top level manager in user's hierarchy. Means you we have to take a user and whoever the top level managers means managers managers and their managers so who are in the top level that manager name we have to print it print it okay so let's go to the instance first so now we are in instance okay so let's take a user first so i'll just go to the user list user tables this underscore user dot list okay and uh, let's take uh, one user and user so as for reference i'll take a joe employee okay so let's say this is the user joe employee okay and let's check who is the manager of joe employee okay so if i'll open this record So currently we are not able to see their manager so let's configure it in the form uh, with this manager field okay so i'm in a form layout and from the available side we have to find the manager okay and just drag it to the selected side and put it below the email okay that's fine okay so below email if you see their manager so their manager is empty and same we can do in a list layout uh, in list view as well okay so their manager is empty so let's update their manager will be like uh, some abraham lincoln okay and let's find out who is the manager of Abraham Lincoln. Okay, so Abraham Lincoln, there is no manager. So for Abraham Lincoln, let's update the manager like David Miller. Okay. And let's note it down this uh, hierarchy in a in a uh, like separate notepad. Okay, so if I open notepad so we have taken the employee joe, uh, we have taken the user joe employee and joe employee manager is abraham lincoln okay abraham lincoln okay and abraham lincoln manager is david miller and let's see who is the manager of David Miller. I'm just trying to create firstly hierarchy before writing a script or anything. So firstly, we have to clear about the question, right? So David Miller manager, uh, there is no David Miller manager. So I'll just update their manager as Fred. Okay. Yes. And I'll just update it. And let's see who is the manager of Fred. So now, David Miller manager is Fred, Fred Luddy, okay? So now, for the Joe, if you take the user as a Joe employee, okay? So their top level manager will be Fred, Fred Luddy, okay? So, we have to print the Fred Luddy. Okay, let's say if Fred Ludi having any manager, then we have to print their manager. Okay, so who are the in the top? Okay, that we have to print it out. Okay, that 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 manager. So for in this case, for Joe employee manager, for Joe employee user, that that top level manager is Fred. 
okay now we have to write the script okay so let me open a duplicate tab go to the background script okay so now background script got open right so here firstly we create a variable user manager because there will store the top level manager value okay now we have to glide record and find the who are the initial level of user who is the initial level of user we have to find their manager okay and that will store in the variable user manager okay so create use so new glide records and there so we have to copy the sys id of jo employee okay Okay, so we have uh, getting the, uh, we have to trying to fetch the record of Joe employee. Okay, now what we need to do? We have to store the Joe employee manager in our variable user manager. Okay, so that will be user dot manager. Okay, till now what we have did like we uh, we are able to store the Joe employee manager. in this usr uh, then user manager uh, variable okay now what we need to do but we have to, but our real question is that like we have to print the top level manager and we don't know like uh, maybe maybe like we have will found the top level manager in a first iteration maybe we have to find in the fifth iteration maybe 10th iteration maybe 100th iteration if we take the real world problem okay so we have to use a recursion function a recursion function here right we have to use the recursion here so we'll write while us user manager if we'll get the user manager what we need to do we have to again glide the again again query the sys user table by taking the manager value and find out their manager itself may exist or not okay so right where mgr equal to new glide record this is and there ngr dot get now what we want to go for which we which record want which uh, we want the manager record right manager user record okay so i'll just pass Yes, ah, uh, M G R. So like that, here we'll pass the manager as a user to get their manager's record. Okay, and what we'll do, we'll store their manager in our again a uh, variable that is user manager. Manager. Okay. so till now we are able to iterate we are able to iterate uh, managers managers but there is some point of time will find out okay their manager is their manager value is not print so where in if you see again that one notepad jo employee manager is abraham lincoln abraham lincoln manager is david miller david miller manager is fred ludy and fred ludy doesn't have any managers means fred ludy is in the top top level okay so we have to print the uh, top level manager's name okay now after iteration what we'll do we'll use the if condition if the point will get like uh, 
यूजर विल नॉट गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ यूजर मैनेजर ओके देन वॉट वी नीड टू डू इन दैट केस वी हैव टू स्टोर द यूजर नेम इन द यूजर मैनेजर वैल्यू ओके एंड देन विल ब्रेक इट वाई ब्रेक बिकॉज इफ विल नॉट ब्रेक इट विल गो टू द इन्फिनाइट लूप and for for breaking the loop we'll use the break keyword okay then simple what we'll do we'll just print the managers top level managers value like top level manager is and uh, right you sub manager so our expected outcome should be fred dodi okay so let's check it out after executing this script we are getting the desired output or not yes if you see we are able to get the value fred dodi means fred dodi in the top level so for testing purpose what we'll do we'll uh, what we'll do we'll update the manager of fred dodi as well okay so let's say I'll update the manager for Fred Ludi. It's Abel Tutor. And now let's see whether Abel Tutor having manager or not. So now, now Abel Tutor doesn't have any managers. So if we take this hierarchy, so now Abel Tutor is in the top. Okay. So if we again execute the script, previously we have got the Fred Ludi in the top level, right? But this time we want the uh, Abel tutor in the top level. Okay, so if I run this and you see, we are able to get it. Abel tutor means Abel tutor is in the top hierarchy for this Joe employee user. So I hope you got it right. So let me explain uh, one more time what we have did here. We have created one variable that is user manager for storing the manager value. Okay, whatever the manager name is there, that will store it here. Then what we have did. We firstly query the sysuser table and pass the user is Joe employee to get their manager. Okay, if will uh, to get their and then will that that manage their manager will store in the user manager. Then we have used the while loop because we want to iterate as per the, um, we want to iterate when when we will not get the user manager value. Okay, inside that then we again query the sysuser table at this time we have passed user as a, this this time we have passed as a manager as a user to get their manager means managers managers and we'll we will we'll, we'll do this repeatedly multiple times this type this kind this kind of function is called recursive function okay we'll do this like multiple times till when till we, if we if the point of time when we'll get the user manager value is empty then what we'll do in that case we'll store we, we will store the uh, that username in the user manager value like where where we'll find the okay this user doesn't have any managers so in that case uh, we will we will accept that okay this user doesn't have any manager it means that this user is the top level manager okay in the hierarchy this user is in the top level okay so this is the top level manager so that will store store in the user manager variable and then we'll break it break break why we'll use because we want to we want to break this loop otherwise otherwise it, it, it will go into the without break your is it will go into the infinite loop okay and then after after that we'll just print the user manager value so i hope you got it so, and if you see like a, any any improvement if you think any is there is still any improvement in the uh, code you can i'm 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 happy to you to comment in the comment box okay because this is the like uh, solution which i have like created from my best of my knowledge so i hope you got it and if you still have any doubt please write in the comment box till that time thank you god bless you all